is even though I'm not a finance person, it's allowed me to, it's, it's the one position I've held, I think, that has, I've been able to translate into knowledge in parliament mm. the most. Yeah. Yeah. I could imagine. And then after, I think, six years in the Netherlands, I also co-founded um, USC, which yep. was Unified St. Martin Connection, um, because I saw that's when the po the political bug started to kind of, <laughs> hey, 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 because when Why I... Why are these people suffering? Mm, <laughs> when I moved up, the sentiment on St. Martin was very much that our students in Holland were lazy. Mm. Um, they didn't want to work. They couldn't make up their minds what they wanted to be. Uh, they kept changing studies left and right because they just didn't care. They just wanted to be taken care of. Mm. That was the sentiment coming from, and I'll be honest, even from government yeah. um, workers, you know, from department heads that were like, no, they're spoiled. Meanwhile, when I'm up there and, you know, um, the per my person I was living with at the time was, was a student. My sister was a student. A bunch of people around me, you know, were students, Jacques, Diane, etc. And hearing their issues and their struggles, like, Okay, to so the problem total, is here. Total mismatch. Yeah, the problem yeah. is here, you know. Um, the, the, the experiences with guidance counselors who yeah. should be uplifting you and showing you the way forward, uh, telling, ch telling students you're never going to amount to anything and such. And I'm like, mm, what is that? Wow. You know, I thought that was, I said that I couldn't believe that that was happening yeah, on yeah. St. Martin. And that's when I realized that the problem really lies here, that there is no plan here. Yeah. Um, oh, we come back to that plan. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's going to have to be the next tattoo. <laughs> but basically, um, that kind of fueled uh, a Facebook note that I yeah. wrote. And that was with the whole insurance debacle that happened, I think, oh, from yeah. 2011. E e even I got hit yeah. with that thing and My, had to uh, pay back uh, exactly. some nice amount of euros. Yeah. And it's really, again, it goes back to communication because, you know, that was a gross failure of communication. Yeah. Uh, not informing students and that's why I say you may think it's hard but it's really not like it, it as long as you can you commit yourself to just being open and transparent you yeah. can communicate anything and uh, that kind of garnered some attention um, most notably Edwina and Cyril and you know through several Facebook messages I said you know it is my vision to have something for some Martiners in Holland that they can come together help each other advise each other uh, because you know I have cousins from Curacao and Aruba and they always had yeah. a hand to hold or like, hey, you know, can you help me with this or whatever? And I wanted us to have that as well. Even though I didn't go to school in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. I realized that it's very different from the U.S. You know, in the yep. U.S., it's the language is the same as what you speak back home. Yep. Um, you live on campus, you know your meals are taken care of. Yeah. Even if it's trash food, at least you know where your meal is coming from. Yeah. In Holland, if, if you slip up and your budget goes out of whack or so, you, you eat in you eat in some <laughs> some Buddha yogurt and so <laughs> and hoping for the best, you know. Um, yep. And so we Sidil reached out and we said, you know, let's start this thing and let's get it going. And we collected some like minded individuals along the way. And then something clicked in my head and I said, We could maybe go into politics. Like we could we're doing all right here. We could probably do this, you know, on a grander scale.